Okay, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve for the surface area and volume of another triangular prism. But here's the catch. Today, we're going to play Sokatoa. You still remember that game, right? So let's see if you can still remember how to play that game. Okay, so do I remember just what I said? We have a right triangle here. Diba? A right triangle such that the hypotenuse measures 8.5 cm. And then one angle measures 52 degrees. How can we solve for the measure or the or the area? Now, we need to play the game of Sokatoa that will determine our situation. Here's our solution sheet. Nakita mo to? Diba remember you see our triangle like this, diba? So yeah, nakita mo yung triangle na to? Look at this, ha. Tingin mo yung triangle na to. Pumunta sa isa naman di mo na. Ayan. So as you can see, this is our triangle, di ba? So our triangle looks like this. Remember that this is 8.5 cm. This is your hypotenuse. So again, labeling your triangle. Di ba remember ito yung opposite? Ito yung hypotenuse. But ang kukunin namin ay yung height. So we need to get the height of the triangle. How do we do that? We need to get all the sides. But how do we do that? Kasi nga ba remember, yung ito ay 52 degrees. I'm sorry kung di siya makikita kasi po I use other color. Pero what you call this? To make it to make it colorful, I, that's why I use other colors. Okay? So yan. So you have 52 degrees. Then this is 90 degrees. Then this one must be, ano yung degree na to? 90 plus 52, then subtract by 180. Yan, that should be the measure of that remnant angle. Okay? But if you don't care about it, it's also fine. So now let's solve for the per so now let's solve. So the by memory of 52 degrees and 8.5. So now we need to find the let's start with the O first. Hanapin tayo yung opposite. So anong gagamitin namin sa paghanap ng opposite? It's the sign. Diba the J the hypotenuse is given and if you're looking for the opposite, ang gagawin mo ay sign. Ko sign. So therefore Sign of 52, ito yung formula. Ito yung formula na dapat gagamitin namin. Sign of 52 degrees, di ba? Sign, 52 degrees, the angle that you're working on, is equivalent to the opposite divided by 8.5. Notice that 8.5, you need to apply the ratio. You're gonna have to multiply that both sides by 8.5. So now, ganito kasi yung formula mo. And now, your formula will, will look like this. Sign of 52 times 8.5 equals O. So just plug that into your calculator for the answer. So now we have our calculator, sine of 52, tapos times, i-multiply mo by, by 8.5. Ano yung sagot? 6.69. Or pwede tayo mag round off to 7. So that is the measure of your opposite. So the opposite measures... 6.7 6.7 cm Now, if you want to look for the other side, you can either play the Pythagorean theorem or you can play another type of triangular theorem. How about let's try Pythagorean theorem? If I remember the Pythagorean theorem, you already know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Tama? So therefore, it becomes ganito yun. a squared plus 6.7 squared equals 8.5 squared. To put this into your calculator, ganito siya. Diba? So, ganito siya. Diba? 8.5 squared, click on the exponent, gives you this. Tapos, answer minus 6.7 squared, gives you this. 27.36. Now, we take the square root of that number. What did we get? 5.23. So therefore, the, the, the measure of the adjacent line is 5.23 cm. 5.23 cm. So yun kung labo siya makita, basta yun. 5.23 siya. Yan. Okay? So yun po talaga yung measure ng angle na to. Ng line linya na to. If you were to play Pythagorean theorem, other formulas that you can use is the sine cosine tangent. Like, for example, diba, remember this one? Pwede ka mag-sign. Mag you can do this, diba? 
Ano dapat gagamitin namin? Because we're given the hypotenuse. So, cosine. So, cosine of 62. Tama ba 62? 52. Is equivalent to adjacent over the hypotenuse. 8.5. Multiplying both sides by 8.5, you should get 8.5 times the cosine of 52. So, ganito siya. Put this in your calculator. 8.5 times the cosine of of 52. What did you get? You still yield up with the same answer. So your answer is 5.23 centimeters. Okay? So yeah, so that is our formula already, okay? So now, this is how we're gonna solve for the surface area of the figure. First, let's start with the triangle. Remember, in a triangular prism, ilang faces dapat makikita mo? Lima, di ba? So you expect that there should be five faces in the triangular prism. So, both are triangles. So, let's start with the triangles first. So, for the triangles, it's base times height, which is 5.23 times 6.7. So, kapag input ko dito, type mo 5.23, tapos asterisk, because you're multiplying, multiplied by 6.7, then divide by 2. Tama? Ay, yung pala, don't forget to put equal. Mag-equal ka. Power to all is this generates, generalizes that this is an equation. Okay? Then, remember, since they are the same, we can draw that. Okay? We can apply the same formula if we want to. Like, for example, we can apply the same formula if we want to. Okay? So, just click on this. Nakita mo yung ito. Yun ang dito dyan. Pwede mo i-drag. Yan. You'll still get the same answer. Now, what about for, now what about for the third phase? Let's try naman the top phase. Remember, this one measures 2.8 centimeters. So, 2.8 centimeters times, what's the measure here? 5.23. So, therefore, 5.23 times 2.8. What answer did we get? Yan, 14.64. Tapos, the next one is 6.7 naman. Let's try 6.7 times 2.8. What did we get? Don't forget, if you're doing a formula, put the equal sign, ah. Yan, 18.76. Then last but not least, ano yung kulang? Ang 8.5 naman. So, 8.5 times 2.8. What did we get? 23.8. Then because we're talking about surface area, we need to sum everything. So, we sum this one. Click on the cells. Click this one. Tapos i-drag down mo. Nakita mo yung what you should naka-highlight dyan? That's the one you need to sum all in all. Then with that, what's the answer? The total surface area is 92.245 square centimeters. That is our surface area. Now for the volume, madali lang yan. Just get the area of the triangle. Diba itatype ko dito? Volume. Okay? So for volume, equal mo. Click on the face. Remember, that's the face of the triangle, diba? And then you multiply that by 2.8, diba? Because to solve for the volume of any prism, it's always... The area of the base times the depth. And you get the volume of 49.0574 cubic cm. This one is square cm. Yun lang. And that's it.